So what do you think the Bitcoin price will be in two years, five years, and 10 years? That's exactly what I'm gonna be talking to you about in this video. Hey there, welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio and in this channel, I make life saving tech videos. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell while you're down there so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm gonna have a bunch of cool links in the description down below. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down my price predictions for Bitcoin for the next two years, also five years and 10 years. So first off, I'm going to go right ahead and give you my prediction for each of those time frames, And then afterwards, then I'm going to go ahead and explain why I am predicting those numbers so that you have a better understanding. And, uh, you know, maybe you can agree with me as well or have a totally different opinion. And that's completely fine as well. So let's jump right in. Before I go ahead and give you these predictions, remember this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. And this is just my opinion on my analysis and prediction. All right, so my prediction is that Bitcoin in about one and a half to two years from now, or from the uploaded date of this video, which is in October of 2023, so about two years after October 23, I predict that the Bitcoin price will be most likely around 200,000. In five years, I predict that the Bitcoin price is gonna be somewhere around 650,000. And in 10 years, I predict that the Bitcoin price will be around a million 500,000. All right, so now let's go ahead and I'll give you just a brief explanation and breakdown on how I came to these numbers. Okay, so the Bitcoin halving is a couple months away almost six months away. Usually after the halving, the Bitcoin price is already trending upwards and the bull run starts after that. And in, in the past, Bitcoin has had a huge increase with every bull run. However, it has been diminishing over time. Since the price has been going higher and higher, the Bitcoin price is not gonna continue multiplying the same. It's gonna get to a point where it's gonna level out and just continue to gradually go up little by little. So how I came to the $200,000 price prediction uh, for Bitcoin in two years is because that would be about a 3X from the Bitcoin previous all time high, which is a very realistic number. And it would put it at a market cap of about 4 trillion, which is exactly about a 3X from the previous all time high Bitcoin market cap of 1.3 trillion. And especially with all the ETFs that are most likely gonna be approved in January. And once those ETFs are approved, then we pretty much have a green light and mainstream adoption will begin for Bitcoin. So I don't see no problem reaching around the $200,000 price level in the next two years. So let's move on to the next price. So moving on to the five year prediction of 650,000, how I got this number is because if we take a look at the market cap of gold, you can see that it's at $13 trillion. So what I did was I estimated that in about five years, I believe Bitcoin can reach the market cap of gold, which would be 13 trillion. If and when Bitcoin reaches that $13 trillion market cap, it would be a 19x from the current price of $35,000. And it would put the price of Bitcoin at about $650,000 which, once it reaches that $13 trillion market cap, which I believe is definitely doable in five years. Okay, once people start seeing that the true value of Bitcoin and they start understanding it more, um, and there's that, there's the, you know, more mainstream adoption and there's more use case for it. It, that's when Bitcoin can easily reach and pass the market cap of gold because Bitcoin is looked upon as an asset right now. But once the use case of it improves and you can start buying regular daily things with Bitcoin, that's when it's going to skyrocket and it's going to easily surpass the market cap of gold. So I predict that can be done in about five years. You know, obviously it could be sooner or, you know, it may be later as well, but I'm giving it five years for this optimistic prediction. And in 10 years, I predicted that it would be around a million five hundred thousand for one Bitcoin. And how I got to this number is because the M1 money supply is at about a hundred is at about fifty nine trillion dollars. So let's round it up to sixty trillion dollars for the M1 money supply. Uh, for those that, that don't know, which I didn't know, M1 money stands for money that's in circulation plus money that is in checking deposit accounts. In other words, in your debit accounts, in your banks. So this is M1 money. It's a total of 60 trillion. Let's say Bitcoin reaches just half of that. You know, once uh, everyone starts seeing that 
the banking system is going down and people will lose more faith into fiat currencies and they transfer more and more of their wealth into Bitcoin. Um, let's say that just half of the M1 money supply, which would be about 30 trillion, goes into Bitcoin. So stating that the Bitcoin market cap reaches that $30 trillion market cap, it would put the Bitcoin price at a million five hundred thousand per Bitcoin, which would be a 44x from the current price of 35,000. And like I said, for the purpose of the video, I can predict that may happen in around 10 years. So we'll see what happens. So that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And that's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace.